Stu back with Raid Shadow Legends. I'm going to be talking about reflex gear, 30% chance to lower a random skill cooldown. And then also, when I was looking back through that reflex gear gameplay of the Nightmare Clan boss, I just kept seeing turn meter boost, turn meter boost nonstop from all my champions. And I wanted to talk about rapid response in the support tree. And then also, what is the other one called? We are going to go over here. It is called Arcane Celerity. I believe is what I want to say. Rapid response, 30% chance to increase the turn meter by 10% whenever your buffs or debuffs fall off. And then we also have the arcane celerity, which it already just went past it while I was doing that with you guys. So, anyways, we're gonna go to the we're gonna see that in a minute. So let's go over reflex gear. 30% chance to reduce a random skill cooldown. Now I'm just gonna go quickly over the gear that I slapped on bad L it's, it's good gear it's getting him decent stats we've just got speed we've got <laughs> a broken set on him right now don't worry about the gloves and the chest broken sets are fine as long as they have the main stats that you need and then here are his, he's got he's I could lose 5,000 HP I could lose 400 defense and I could get him some more attack some more crit crit damage to do more damage no problem we can work on that later right now we're just worried about reflex and getting that skill his skill two cooldown lower it's on a three turn cooldown if we can get it lower get more poisons up get more heal over time for our people it's going to be amazing it just it's a really good set to use in game if you if you don't need life steal on somebody especially like this where he has a passive and he only has one active ability to use Besides his, you know, A1, he's got his A2, which is Malice, that puts up the poisons, puts up the heals. We get that down, it's just going to be crazy. Now, a lot of other champions are great with this. I'm just going to show you real quick. He has War Master, and again, he has the Rapid Response. All my guys on this whole battle that you're going to see, Nightmare Clan Boss, all have Arcane Celerity and Rapid Response. All of them. So you're going to see... And it's like having a new car. You really don't recognize it. You buy a new car and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, everybody's got my car. I see my car here, here, here. It's just like that. Once you start seeing that turn meter boost in here, and here's where you get reflex. I haven't done a proper ice golems guide for artifacts yet, like a tier list for it. I've done it for dragons. I have done it for fire knight 20 and dragons 20, but I haven't done it for ice golems yet. So anyways, that's where you get reflex. We are going to go over reflex. It is just an amazing set. If you can put it on somebody like Skull Crusher, he does the retaliation just like Martyr does. If you can afford to put it on him and keep him alive still, you could use it on him. Somebody like Bad L, even somebody like Martyr, but I'm never going to go away from lifesteal on her. It's just too good. So really what we want to look for right now is we want to look for Reflex going off on Bad L. It'll just say skill cooldown, lower skill cooldown. And we want to look at the turn meter boost on everybody. How those two turn meter boosts work that 10%, 30% chance to proc the 10% whenever a buff or debuff falls off is like right now, Martyr just did two buffs on everybody. That's 10 different chances Martyr's gonna have to get a 10% increase. Bad L just did two debuffs on the enemy and, and two buffs on everybody. So that's 10 different buffs that are gonna fall off or expire or be removed. However, it doesn't matter. 10%, he's gonna get a 30% chance on each of those 10 times to get a 10% <laughs> turn meter increase it's crazy just watch you're gonna see it happen more than anything else you're gonna see a, a blue come up and say turn meter increase not when apothecary does his but just in general it doesn't need to be their turn it can be anybody's turn and you're just gonna see them start flying up out of nowhere you will i promise you and once you start seeing it you're gonna recognize it everywhere turn meter boost okay you just saw one before he did his and now you're gonna start turn meter boost turn meter boost turn meter <laughs> look at all of them look at all of them turn meter boost not their turn turn meter boost turn meter boost there it goes there it goes turn two over here two over here we can we get another can we get another there we go bad l's gonna get one okay it is insane because we've got Altan doing a debuff. We've got Altan doing a buff whenever that expires. We even have Steel Skull doing a buff. We have him doing tons of debuff poisons up. When Steel Skull loses any of those four or five or six poisons that keep accum accumulating from his counterattacks and from his regular attacks, that is where it comes up. Also, somebody asked me the other day, how do I know... Uh, when you when you counterattack, how do I know it's only 75% of your normal damage? Well, if you go on to the Polarium forums, a while ago, Marius did a big thing about all the buffs and debuffs. He did a whole forum spreadsheet. It looks really nice. I'll put a link below. You can also join our Discord. Our Discord is our Discord is below. Our information to join. We have all the guides on every dungeon, on everything in our Discord. Plus, you get to meet us. You get to have fun with us. I ask questions all the time still to everybody in there. We have so many knowledgeable people that have a lot, a lot of in-game 
cool champions that I don't have, or even <laughs> epics that they get to use like crazy, all their multiple uh, royal guards and Tyrells and all that kind of stuff that I don't have because the RNG won't bless me with any of those good epics. But it's a good place to come and hang out with us, get involved in the game, join our Discord. Again, I'll leave the link to the buffs and debuffs where you can look at them all on the Polarium forum. It's done really well. You can see where it says counterattack is only 75% of your normal damage. Somebody did ask me that. Again, keep looking. Look for the speed, the turn meter boost. There we go. Skill, de it said decrease cooldown, and then it said turn meter boost on Bad L. So he got it there. He got the ref reflex gear proc, and it's just going to increase my overall damage. It's going to get more poisons up, more heals on everybody, which again will do more on that support tree, which gets me whenever they fall off or get or get reapplied even. I get another chance to get more turn meter boost of 10%. It's insane. They just, look at that, two more just came up. They go on for crazy with the turn meter boost. Overall damage on the clan boss is going to be increased by an insane amount. Also, I would like to get reflex gear on somebody like Apothecary. Apothecary is a, a, a great candidate for something like that. If I can lower, if I can get a, a, an additional turn meter lowered on his way to increase the speed boost and turn meter boost, then overall damage of everybody on my team, regardless of what I'm running, clan boss, dragons, 20, doesn't matter, are going to get, a, a, they're going to get a damage increase, a huge damage increase damage increase and they're going to get their skills up faster and we're going to get to outturn the enemy more times it's just going to overall it's just going to keep cascading into this beautiful thing of just massive damage and you'll be able to win it easier and do more damage i mean you can't beat that you just cannot beat that so that's really all i've got for this battle we are still only at three minutes <laughs> we've got a nine minute nightmare clan boss full auto we do really well and that is just really all I wanted to showcase is the reflex. There are, are, there are a lot of champions out there that it would be good for. Again, Martyr, if I was ever going to remove her from Lifesteal, which I won't, just because she's too good in everything else in the game that I use her in, I won't do that. And reflex on Bad L has just been a long time coming. I've wanted to put him on, here, on, on him. I've been playing around with stun artifacts on him to, to do his AoE stun, which I'm going to put them on somebody else like Bellower or somebody of that nature. So... Also, if you request videos, keep requesting them. Everybody has asked me to do stuff on other epics or other champions, rare champions. Just keep asking me. If I missed it, I'm sorry. Do ask me again. I just did one on the uh, um, Ina recently, the, the epic Barbarian. So just ask me. I only did that because somebody asked me. They kept seeing her in my inventory at 60. They wanted to know what she's all about. Why do I have her at 60? Now you know. She's not that great, but... <laughs> I did a guide on her anyways. At least we all know the information is out there. So anything else you want to know, for sure ask me. Keep asking me. I will do a video on it eventually. I promise you it's it's good for you to ask me things. I learn a lot from it. You, hopefully you guys learn something from it and we can make some more videos that are cool for everybody. So that's really all I've got. Let's go to the end here and see where we are at with this. We have been, if you've been paying attention, I know you've seen the turn meters like crazy. I know you've seen, okay, so we lost Apothecary. I know you've seen probably a few extra turns on Bad L pop up. These guys are going to try to get us a little bit more, a little bit more. Every time I see that turn meter boost come up now, oh, he just did a skill cooldown as well. It just makes me laugh now because before I didn't really pay, you know, you just get so used to seeing these, these words and numbers just flying up, flying up. You're just waiting to the very end so you can see that big juicy number and see how you're doing, which I really wish in Clan Boss there was a side number that had everybody's kind of DPS or your accumulated total number. that you're Like right now, if I was at 20 million, it would tell me I'm at 20 million. Each time I did damage, it would go up. It would be really cool to see that breakdown as you're going even. I know it shows us at the end, but during the whole battle or on the, over on the right or the left, they could have they could have the whole damage meter and everything else going on there. I think that would be really cool to have. So we've got Bad L doing 6 million. We, we did 27 million. I mean, right at 27 million, full auto nightmare clan boss, one key. And Altan's bringing it in. He's doing he's he's doing well. Martyr's doing okay. Apothecary, you know, is doing his thing. I want to get reflex on Apothecary. And Steel Skull is always stealing the show with all his poisons. He doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage, but when you have counterattack and you have this guy doing poisons all the time on a skill one, it is just insane. So that's all I've got, guys. Please help me grow. Like and subscribe. You'll see a SG above my head. Subscribe there. We are doing a giveaway. I just did a video um, the other day. I probably should have led with this because not a lot of people on any kind of YouTube videos ever go all the way to the end. I understand it. I watch YouTube videos as well. So 
We are doing a gym giveaway, 270 gems to three different people. Go watch that video. I will put it above me to the left or right and you can click on it, leave a description, leave a comment with your information. You'll see when you watch the video and you'll have a chance to win 270 gems. Three different people will. And I'm going to do the drawing on August 6th, my time at noon. I will select randomly through, you know, a, a pick name picker generator that goes through the comments of YouTube and picks out random people. And we will get those out. Polarium will issue those gems to those IDs. So it's fantastic. I appreciate Polarium supporting and doing this with me. But that's all I got, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I hope you liked Reflex Gear, and I hope you really liked all that turn meter increase. I will see you all on the next video.